Mayfield throws. Lamb is wide open in the end zone. Tackle eligible play. And the Browns have a touchdown. Kendall Lamb, is it fair to say that your best football moment so far in your career came at Nissan Stadium last year? <laughs> Boy, I've got this question so much. I ain't gonna lie to you. It, it, it's a different feeling, of course, to, to catch a touchdown as an offensive lineman in general. But it, it's definitely it's definitely up there. Yes, sir. All right. Well, we're hoping you're going to have more great football moments at Nissan Stadium now that you're part of the Titans. Why did you think the Titans were the best fit for you in 2021? I mean, you can look at it. You guys know as well as I do. The brand of football that's played here is top notch. I mean, from an offensive standpoint, I mean, the way the guys are dominant running the ball, you know, the offensive line room, the coaches. I mean, I've known Coach Variable literally since my first year in Houston. I've been around Ben Jones, David Quisenberry, who was here. I mean, I, I've got guys throughout the roster. Even Darrington Evans comes from literally my backyard in Boone at App State. I mean, it's just good football here. And then at the same time, you know, you guys win, which is a beautiful thing. You know, I'm just trying to come here and help as I can. So you're saying Derrick Henry was part of the decision? <laughs> I mean, let, let, let's be honest. You know, in Cleveland, we have phenomenal running backs, Kareem and Nick Chubb, two of literally the top tier, like it speaks for itself. But as everyone here calls him the king, you know, to, to be able to block for a man like that. I mean, I played against him when I was in Houston, of course. That's a grown man running the ball. So if I can open any type of hole and help that man, you know, I'm all for it. How do you see your role sort of unfolding with the 2021 Titans? To be completely honest with you, it, it's still to be seen. You know, I, I come here just to help as I can. I'm going to put my best foot forward. This will be my seventh year in the NFL, so I, I've been around. You know, I've been in various systems, various offensive line rooms, various teams. And the one thing that I've always, you know, stuck true to is whatever the team needs, man. You know, I, I'm a team guy. If, if I'm called upon to play, I'll always do my best to be ready. What's the best thing Kendall Lamb does as an offensive lineman? I mean, besides working hard and everything, you know, I just bring my athleticism. You know, I, I play the game very fast. I try to play the game as an athlete. As I tell people on the edge, man, we dance. Like, it, we literally dance with the defensive ends, outside linebackers. And really and truly, I enjoy dancing. Even on the football field, outside of my lady, you know, I enjoy dancing. So I, I try to, you know, bring my flavor and bring my style to, to the game. But most importantly, I, I try to be a very good teammate. You know, I try to learn the offensive lineman. I try to learn my teammates in general. And, you know, I help as I can. As you learn the craft, a lot of times as an offensive lineman, you learn it in meeting rooms and you learn it in practice. And right. you've played for some good coaches, undoubtedly. But I think about what it's been like in practice for you with the Houston Texans and with the Cleveland Browns, who you've had to block in practice. That has to be a great help to you as you come into this situation with the Titans. Now, who are you telling? You know, my first year in, in Houston, it speaks for itself. You know, I, I knew Clowney before the NFL, being from Charlotte, him being from Rock Hill, going against him and JJ, even climbing to the second level, trying to block Brian Cushing, and then leaving Houston and going to Cleveland, seeing Miles Garrett every day, going against Olivier Vernon, climbing to the, to the second level, trying to block Kirko, you know, Kirksey, and then Joe Schobert. I've literally had the fortune of legit going against top tier people, no matter what, day in and day out in practice. So when you go against that, you have to rise to the occasion every day. Kendall, finally, I know you're, you're new, and, and this is very new. You're just getting into this situation. But is there anything that you've learned about the Titans over the last few days that you didn't know from the outside that you were excited to learn? Of course, phenomenal organization. I could tell that playing them twice a year when I was in Houston for four years. But, you know, every year is different. And Jack Conklin came to us in Cleveland last year, and I got to have long conversations with him about how he truly enjoyed Tennessee and the guys in that offensive line room and the guys in this locker room. I touched base with Ben Jones when the time came. Just be reunited and coming in here into that style of offensive line room and this type of team is very, very exciting. And it's something that, you know, from the outside I could see, but to be inside it now and to be a part of that is something that's not, not going to be a lot of fun. Okay, I lied. There's one more question. Is <laughs> it true good. that in your contract you were requiring the Titans to throw you the ball on multiple occasions? You know, if if you want me to go through the, through the times with you, I caught a pass in Houston against Buffalo my first year, my rookie year. Now we elevated last year to catching a pass in Cleveland. Now it's a touchdown. So if you want to say, I mean, I've caught a pass in the NFL game for both teams that I've been on. I may have wiggled something in there to make sure it happens here. 
but that'll be to be seen. Yes, sir.